The Shri Yantra is known to be a chariot which delivers insight into the essence of being. It is the abstract form of the universe, the material nature or Divine Mother. She is the power which creates, sustains and dissolves everything that there is to experience. She rests in what is known as pure consciousness, identical with Brahman, Tao, God or any of his names by which he is known. This pure consciousness takes up any form which it wishes to assume, shapes itself into all possibilities, as for example, the human body. The result of being aware of a particular human body leads to all kinds of wishes, desires of fulfilling these, as well as all kinds of identifications with almost everything but one's own self, and eventually to situations that seem to be a chaos. In order to overcome fear or unwanted results, one remembers the pure consciousness. If that is too difficult, the Sri Yantra helps one to remember again what the universe is made for. The purpose of the universe is to lead to the fulfillment of desires and to final liberation, whether the consciousness experiences itself in life or in death, inside a body or without. The Sri Yantra is surrounded by a square. On the outside of it, the yogi meditates on passions like anger, fear, sensual desires, etc., with the result of overcoming them. On the second line of the square, the yogi meditates on goddesses or shaktis, which pervade his own being. They are Brahmi Shakti, who bestows the power to overcome worldly desires. Maheshwari Shakti, who bestows the power to overcome anger. Kumari Shakti, who bestows the power to overcome miserliness and avarice. Vaishnavi Shakti, who bestows the power to overcome the fascination of the spell of illusion. Parahi Shakti, who bestows the power to overcome stubbornness and false pride. Indrani Shakti, who bestows the power to overcome jealousy. Chamunda Shakti, who bestows the power to overcome the hankering for worldly rewards. Mahalakshmi Shakti, who bestows the power to overcome any failing. Inside of this well are three circles. They represent the unity of past, present and future. Inside of the three circles is the 16 petaled lotus. These petals represent the 10 organs of perception and action which experience the five elemental principles called earth, water, fire, air and space. The organs of perception and action are the ears, the skin, the eyes, the tongue, the nose, the mouth, the feet, the hands, the arms and the genitals. The last petal represents the mind, which gathers the information supplied by the senses of perception and determines the reaction of the senses of action. Each petal is presided over by a Shakti. These Shaktis pervade the consciousness of every human being. These Shaktis or Goddesses are Kamakashani, who governs desire, Buddha Kashani, who governs the intellect, Ahamkara Kashani, who governs the ego, Shabda Kashani, who governs sound, Sparsha Kashani, who governs sight, Rupa Kashani, who governs form. Rasa Karshani, who governs taste. Ganda Karshani, who governs smell. Chita Karshani, who governs the mind. Deirya Karshani, who governs inner strength. Smritya Karshani, who governs memory. Nama Karshani, who governs the names. Bija Karshani, who governs the origin. Atma Karshani, who governs the individual soul. Sharira Karshani, who governs the body. And Amrita Karshani, who governs immortality. Inside of this lotus is another one, which has eight petals that are presided over by Shaktis with particular functions. Ananga Kuzuma governs speech. Ananga Mekala governs grasping. Ananga Madana governs motion. Ananga Madana Tura governs excretion. Ananga Reka 
governs enjoyment. Ananga Vigani governs repulsion. Ananga Kusha governs attraction. Ananga Malini governs impartiality. Inside of these two lotuses are five circles consisting of triangles. The triangles represent principles of the subtle body. Pure consciousness is beyond time and space in a state of ecstasy and unity. When pure consciousness individualizes itself, it separates itself from unity and assumes a subtle body. This subtle body then incarnates in a material body. The subtle body is thus connected to the material body and is usually experienced in the dream state of the individual consciousness. The first circle of triangles represents certain shaktis with their qualities. Sarva Shankshubini is the agitator of all. Sarva Vidravani is the chaser of all. Sarva Karshini is the attractor of all. Sarva Ladini is the delighter of all. Sarva Samohini is the deluder of all. Sarva Stambini is the arrester of all. Sarva Jrimbini is the releaser of all. Sarva Shankari is the controller of all. Sarva Ranjani is pleasing to all. Sarvan Madini is the intoxicator of all. Sarva Artasadani is the accomplisher of all desires. Sarva Sampati Purani is the giver of all opulences. Sarva Mantramai is the one made up by mantras. Sarva Dvantvakshayankari is the destroyer of all dualities. The remembrance of these shaktis leads to the harmonization of the inner energy streams. The next circle consists of ten triangles which represent certain shaktis with their qualities. Sarva Prada is the giver of all accomplishments. Sarva Sampatprada is the giver of all riches. Sarva Priyamkari is the doer of what is liked by all. Sarva Mangalakarini is the one bringing about all auspiciousness. Sarva Kamaprada is the giver of all desires. Sarva Vaduka Vimochiani is the remover of all sufferings. Sarva Mrityu Prashamani is the appeaser of all aspects of death. Sarva Vikani Varini is the overcomer of all obstacles. Savanga Sundari, who is beautiful in all limbs. Sarva Saubhagya Daini is the giver of all good fortunes. Remembrance of these shaktis harmonizes the life forces. The next circle consists also of ten triangles, which represent certain shaktis with their qualities. Savagya is omniscient. Sarva Shakti is omnipotent. Savaishvaya Prada is the giver of all sovereignties. Sarva Gyanamai is the giver of all knowledge. Sarva Vyati Vinashini is the destroyer of all diseases. Sarva Tarasvarupini is the support of all. Sarva Papara is the dispeller of all evils. Sarvananda Mai is full of ecstasy. Sarva Rakshvasvarupini is the giver of all protections. Sarva Psitipalprada is the giver of the fruits of all wands. Remembrance of these shaktis harmonizes the physical and mental digestion. Next circle of triangles consists of eight triangles, which represent the three modes of material nature, creation, sustenance and dissolution, two pairs of opposites, the potential to decide when and how to act, and the shaktis which embody these qualities. Here they are. Vimala sustains. Kameshwari creates. Mohini dissolves. Vashini governs pleasure. Aruna governs pain. Jaini governs cold. Saveshwari governs heat. Kaulini gives the potential to decide when and how to act. Remembrance of these shaktis harmonizes the inner perception. Inside of this circle 
the yogi visualizes a bunch of five arrows which represent the world of the senses, a bow which represents the mind, a noose which represents attachment, and a stick which represents repulsion. The central triangle is Sarvasiddhi Prada, the giver of all perfection. Remembrance of this Shakti purifies the powers to decide, to act and to perceive. In the middle of the central triangle is a point which represents the Bindu. The Bindu represents pure consciousness, the original state of being, the supreme ecstasy of life. This is the beginning and the end of the human journey through the universe. The immediate inner perception of this is ultimate liberation.